The Holoflux theory of consciousness represents a groundbreaking fusion of ideas from three seminal thinkers, Carl Prebrum, David Bohm, and Pierre Teilhard de Chardin. This theory posits consciousness as a fundamental aspect of the universe, deeply embedded within its structure, and suggests a dynamic interplay between the physical and non-physical realms. Drawing from principles in physics, mathematics, and electrical engineering, the Holoflux theory offers a comprehensive framework for understanding consciousness as both a local and non-local phenomenon, challenging traditional paradigms and inviting a re-evaluation of the interconnectedness of all things. At its heart, the Holoflux theory is an amalgamation of Prybram's holonomic brain theory, Bohm's quantum ontology, and Teilhard de Chardin's hyperphysics. In the holographic model, Prybram suggests that information in the brain is distributed across the entire brain in a manner similar to a hologram. In a hologram, each part contains the whole image. When the hologram is cut into pieces, each piece can still project the entire image, albeit with less clarity. Similarly, Prybram theorized that every part of the brain contains all the information processed by the brain, but from different perspectives. This model accounts for the brain's ability to maintain a coherent perception of reality, despite damage to any of its parts, and for the high level of interconnectedness and flexibility in neural processing. When Bohm introduced the idea of the implicate order, he was proposing a deeper, more fundamental layer of reality that underlies the explicate order, which is the physical world we experience through our senses. The implicate order is a realm where everything is interconnected in an unbroken wholeness, and where what we perceive as separate elements in the explicate order are actually unfolded into each other in the implicate order. Bohm used the term holoflux to encapsulate this ongoing process of unfolding from implicate to explicate, and enfolding from explicate back into implicate, suggesting a dynamic, fluid, and ever-changing foundation of reality. This notion challenges classical Newtonian physics, which sees the world as a collection of separate, interacting parts. Instead, Bohm's vision is more aligned with quantum physics, emphasizing non-locality and the interconnectedness of all things. Teilhard de Chardin contributed the idea of the new sphere and omega point. The new sphere represents a stage in the evolution of the Earth where human thought, collective consciousness, and cultural development form a global network, similar to a sphere enveloping the Earth. This concept builds on the idea of the biosphere, the layer of the planet where life exists, suggesting an evolution towards a layer of collective thought and consciousness. The new sphere is characterized by an intensification of human interactions, knowledge exchange, and technological advancements, leading to a new level of planetary consciousness. The Omega Point is Teilhard de Chardin's term for the ultimate goal of evolution. A point of maximum complexity and consciousness towards which he believed the universe is evolving. This concept posits that all matter is moving towards a final state of complex unity, where the diversity of the universe is harmonized into a single, encompassing consciousness or being. Teilhard de Chardin saw this as a kind of divine convergence where the material and spiritual realms merge. Together, these concepts form the backbone of the holoflux theory, offering a lens through which to view consciousness as an integral part of the universe's fabric. This model proposes a way of understanding how the brain constructs and processes information that differs significantly from the traditional view of the brain as a computer-like mechanism where each part of the brain processes information in a linear, localized way.
the holoflux theory integrates consciousness into the fabric of the universe by positing a dynamic energy process that connects the physical realm with a transcendent domain of flux. This domain is hypothesized to be at the center of the universe's spatial dimensions, accessible everywhere and synonymous with Pribram's flux domain, Bohm's implicate order, and Teilhard de Chardin's point omega. This model supports the notion of consciousness as a bridge between the material and immaterial, suggesting a seamless continuity between the two. By aligning with established scientific principles while also venturing into the territories of philosophy and spirituality, the holoflux theory offers a holistic view of consciousness that challenges and extends beyond traditional scientific paradigms. It aligns with the panpsychist view that consciousness is inherent in the universe, but goes further to detail a specific mechanism through which this integration occurs. The theory's congruence with physics, mathematics, and engineering principles lends it credibility and invites interdisciplinary exploration into the nature of consciousness. The holoflux theory is significant for several reasons. It provides a unified framework that reconciles disparate theories of consciousness, suggesting a deeper, interconnected reality that encompasses all things. It challenges the reductionist view of consciousness as merely an emergent property of brain processes, proposing instead that consciousness is a fundamental aspect of the universe's structure. This has profound implications for understanding the nature of reality, the evolution of consciousness, and the potential for human interaction with the universe at a level beyond the physical. Furthermore, it opens new avenues for research in transpersonal psychology, quantum physics, and spiritual studies, offering a comprehensive model for exploring the farther reaches of human nature and the cosmos. <laughs>